long. The CV is a long <laughs> thing. Mudani Gazecha and of course Nyokafi Masharia. Um, I wanted to get to know you guys a little bit and I think, you know, from your art, I can already tell the kind of people you are. But I also wanted to know the inspo behind this play, Graveyard Queens, that you guys are putting on. Please tell me how it came about. Oh Where do I begin? Gosh. Nyokafi. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, my business partner, Nice Gizinji is the one who um, presented this play. And she was like, oh, my God, there's this really cool thing. I think we should do it. Yeah. And um, when I read the script, I was like, yes, yes, yes. Um, last year, we lost one of our own called Maina Olwenya, who was in Country Queen. Mm -hmm. And I remember I went for his vigil and there were so many people at the theater. And I kept asking Nice, did this guy know all of these people mm -hmm. loved him when mm -hmm. he was alive. And I felt really sad because I was I was almost sure that he didn't know. And so Nice and I had this discussion about giving people their flowers while they are alive and people who have made this industry what it is and, you know, their contributions. We need to acknowledge them when they can still hear it. And this play was a perfect opportunity for that because between amongst the cast members <laughs> of this play they have at least a hundred years of experience wow and these are people who are not in the mainstream media and we just felt one they their talent needs to be there and because uh, as i was saying earlier during the break the characters are mature characters but they're so vibrant they're not written as lifeless because i don't know what it is uh, with our industry and you know just our writing when we don't write exciting things about older, older people women, yeah. like there's still stuff happening in their life and so this play sort of brings that to life and we see these women celebrating each other we see them going out to drink we see them going out to they're crying together we see them you know laughing together arguing together like normal human beings do not just 20 year old and 30 year old <laughs> yeah people of all ages exactly. have emotions <laughs> exactly and so this is also we're calling it the legends edition because yeah. these cast members are legends and we want them to know that we appreciate them we love the work that they've done and we stand on their shoulders while they can still hear us not yeah. We are going to their graves and being like, oh my gosh, they were you so were nice. You were so and dope. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I get that. That is so beautiful. Mudoni, when you first read the script, what was the first, like the emotions that you went through reading, that first read of like, I, I had no idea what this was about. The first thing is that, um, not even before I read the script, when Nice gave me a call, Nice Kivenji, mm -hmm. who is one of the producers and directors um, of the show, she calls me up and says to me, hi. So I'm like, oh, hi, babe. Then she's like, hi, mom. How are you? Because there's something we did together with her. The uh, We did Rafiki with her. And uh, she was my screen daughter. So I was like, it's always we have, you know, this you know banter between the two of us. So I'm like, yeah, so what's up? Well, how are things? She said, um, so there's this play. I said, nice. Then she <laughs> says, there's this play that I want you to be a part of. And I'm like, nice i don't know play then she was like you're an actor aren't you <laughs> oh wow <laughs> yeah, she gives me those ones of come so more from time to time. <laughs> so i'm like yeah but then she said okay i'm done <laughs> then she, she moved on. so i'm sending you the script so she sent me the script and when i read it um and then when we had the first read through it was very very um captivating uh, it was very captivating it was um this fun there's laughter, there's sadness, there's depth, mm. there's intensity um, to it. And, and that's what really drew me to it. And um, from somebody who's had handled grief and handled grief with people, you know, it's a whole process and everybody deals with grief in a different way. Some people, you know, go into themselves. Some people become, you know, all out there mm. because each one of us handles grief and in, in such a different way. And this is something that we're going to see in this mm. production, yeah. how women handle grief mm. you know, how and then of course basically life does go on mm. yeah that is the unfortunate part but the true part mm. i love that th it's a roller coaster already i'm already e even as you're talking i'm already <laughs> going up down up down <laughs> i cannot wait to see it please let us know how we can watch graveyard queens how we can show love support <coughs> and what to expect from the show in your copy. right so graveyard queens is happening at brayside school mudangari road from 14th to the 16th of july we have one show on friday night which is the opening night i would highly advise for you to come for true, that true. so that you're yeah, not getting spoilers we'll be, yeah. on social media <laughs> then we have saturday 
Saturday and Sunday we have a 2 p.m. show and a 6 p.m. show. A 2 p.m. and a 6 p.m. show. Yes, How do yes. we get tickets on Mani Gate? Right. So you can <laughs> you can get tickets on Hustle Sasa. Yeah. Um Alibad tickets are running out today midnight. Okay. Leo is the Alibad zinaisha and then sasa mutupatie pesa mingi. Yeah. Um <laughs> so please do get your tickets today. Thank you so much ladies for a making the time to you know come and talk to us about the arts giving giving me your opinions about you know even paid menstrual leave <laughs> of course for the work that you're doing for the theater scene in Kenya and I cannot wait to see this play see the reviews I know Graveyard Queens is going to be amazing let me give you something we call makofi day. you better be there no I'm definitely planning to attend perhaps the Saturday show I might maybe I might catch a spoiler or two but I definitely do intend to be there thank you so much thank Nukafi. you, thank you so much us. Mudoni thank you Steph London and Spice coming your way and then we come in the next hour another chance to win 2000 Bob are you guys ready please last last chance last chance let's go Spice